The project is a research on the inhabitation of rural pigeon in student residential area at Simpang 4. So I and observed the situation on the ground and also interviewed the staff there. After observing and analyzing, I found out that the bird species that inhabit the buildings is feral pigeon, also known as Columba livia, scientifically. This is the evolution of feral pigeon. The original breed is rock dove, a wild pigeon originated from the wood, and dove coat pigeon, a strong utility breed that were kept in semi-liberty. The aristocratic from Rome purposely interbreed these pigeons to produce domestic pigeon for their own use, which is to carry messages, consume meat, release during special ceremony, for example wedding and funeral, and also act as sun compass. However, when domestic pigeon mate among themselves and they become out of control and overpopulate, it leads to a breed called feral pigeon with a stronger gene mutation that adapt urban area easily. This illustration shows the physical characteristic of feral pigeon. Feral pigeon is a sweet flyer since it has long wings and powerful muscles with gray, blue-gray plumage. Rock pigeon naturally inhabit ledges such as sea cliffs, mountains. Feral pigeons successfully adapted to urban life and are abundant in buildings as they find the ledges of building to be sub a substitute for sea cliff with their preferred height. Feral pigeon thrive in cities where human create buildings that they are able to adapt for their own use. Tall building and window ledges simulate the natural cliff where the originated rock pigeon live. The following are the adaptation factors of feral pigeon in buildings. The availability of food, water and shelter are their basic needs as well as main factors that attract them inhabiting the area. The third factor is having higher melanin concentration. Feral pigeon is a stronger breed compared to the original breed as they have darker pigment which are able to store trace metal and mitigate the negative effect. Thus, they able to survive in the Lead, higher lead concentration area. So this is the list of hazards that we have identified during the site visit. There are a total of six potential harmful hazards that we have identified followed by the result of hazard identification, risk assessment and control that we have conducted. There are a total of three that are high in risk and these are the recommended bird repellent that is very suitable for pigeon. Thank you.